As vaping-related illnesses and deaths continue to climb across the U.S., our next guest is teaming up with legislators from several states to try and develop sensible vaping regulation. Let's welcome Connecticut Governor Ned Lamont. His state has reported 31 vaping-related illnesses and one death. Governor, thanks for being here. Thank you. Nice to see you. So Good morning, you, everybody. You've, uh, you're going to be meeting with uh, several other governors, lots of legislators trying to figure out. What, what, as you head into this, what do you think is the right path to take? I think the wrong path is to have every state doing their own thing in an erratic patchwork of different regulations. I mean, right now, folks from Connecticut can drive to Massachusetts and, and buy pot legally. Not when they bring it back, though. People from Massachusetts coming into Connecticut, if they're over 21 and vaping, can't do that legally in Mass. So it's just a hodgepodge right now. So Andrew Cuomo helped take the lead. We got together, talked about this a couple months ago. Whatever we do, let's do it on a regional basis. Let's regulate it and standardize it. You think the leanings is towards some of the stricter regulation or, or, or it's not towards some of the more permissive things? Just, uh, I mean, my guess would be a little That's stricter. sort of a loaded question, but... Um, but, but my guess no, would be it's you guys be are doing this because side. you want to be on the stricter side. But we want to make deaths. sure the black market doesn't play. So we want to make sure that you... you um, this is a regulated, healthier, safer alternative to what's going on in the illegal vaping market and certainly in the illegal uh, marijuana market. So when you say regional, Governor, it suggests that you can get to critical mass of agreement much easier. Is that the case? Well, we have Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, and the governor of Pennsylvania. We're going to be getting together in about one hour. That's and, a start. And then you think of extending... Or is, it, is that it? And let other people just come in when, when and if they want? That's a pretty good start. Look, we're a bunch of relatively small states. We're packed in next to each other. So to have everyone doing their own thing is a regulatory mess. Governor, just marijuana overall, do you think that's sort of the, the attitude we should have? It's there anyway. It's a black market anyway. You might as well legalize it, dare I say, everywhere you and regulate it. And, yeah, yeah, recreational. Look, am know? I a big fan? No. Has the train left the station? I'm afraid it has. You know, it's legal in, in Massachusetts, right across Is our border. Is that okay? Border. I'm still not sure. I mean, it's happening. We all say that. It's happening, and it, but no one, we, we haven't really thought that deeply about I've a stoner culture. I've thought deeply about culture. how bad the black market is. And right now, these kids are going to the black market operators. Uh, I know there's pot, believe me. I, I know it's about really pot. I, saw, you know, I went to Colorado. I, I know it's there. But I still don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm torn between whether you just... It will yeah. be the, the it's not per, like if you legal the percentage it. of users will go up if it's totally legal from where it is with when it's black market, right? The percentage of users using dangerous stuff laced with fentanyl goes way down. OK, well, I think that's, that's good. a big point. OK, uh, in, in terms of some of the other things we might see just with vaping and getting back to the e-cigarettes, uh, we have seen that there was a judge in Michigan who is banning the sale of flavored e-cigarettes there. Do you think Connecticut is likely to follow that same route? Is that something you all would be discussing today? Is it something I'm sympathetic to? Yes. Is it something that's better if I do it in association with my fellow governors? Much better. And that's one of the things we'll be talking about in an hour. You know, we, we've had the FDA commissioner, Scott Gottlieb, who's joined us. And his most recent idea is that he'd like to see the federal government kind of step in to the void that it's left over the last many years. Uh, he, his concern is just this, that you see different regulation in every market in every state, and that as a result, there's no federal oversight, that the states aren't really equipped to do a lot of the oversight. Would you agree with that? Uh, I think waiting for the federal government to step in is waiting for Godot. And right now we have, um, you know, a crisis on our hands. And the number of vaping deaths and illnesses we've seen in our state of Connecticut and otherwise. So I think the states are stepping into a void right now, Becky. Governor, let's talk about the economy, what you see in Connecticut. I know that in the first uh, two quarters of 2019, uh, economic growth did pick up. It was helped by strong manufacturing and robust retail sales. It still is looking at Connecticut from last year being ranked 45 among the 50 states. What would you say just about where the economy stands right now, which direction it's headed, what worries you, and what do you think? We've think been a laggard positive? for the last 30 years, uh, and I think we're picking up the pace right now with advanced manufacturing, digital media, even insurance. A lot of our core industries are hiring, and we're having a hard time filling the need. My job is to make sure people are trained for these jobs right now. The biggest concern you have and the biggest positive outlook you have when it comes to the economy? The biggest concern is our uh, fiscal mess. It's been a long time uh, coming, and um, 
it's tough to get the political world to step up and make you know, hard decisions we got to do on things like pensions, and not to mention uh, transportation. We haven't invested in our transportation system in a long time. Can I ask We're about to do that, and that's really going to turn things around. Can I ask you a related question? Real estate prices in Connecticut have fallen, as you know, flat at, at best, uh, sideways at best. Is that something that you think about a lot? I think about it a lot. I'll tell you, our downtown areas are going gangbusters. Downtown Stanford, South Norwalk, New Haven, right. places where young people want to be. The backcountry, Wall Street, three-acre you know, lots, uh, those are suffering a little bit, and I do think about that. And do you think that's because of the tax rate? I, I certainly think that uh, the non-deductibility of state and local taxes was a right. big hit for states like mine. Okay. Governor, I want to thank Very you for nice. being with us today.